Hi, I'm Jeff Krobot, Director of Production for Charleston Homes. Uh, welcome back to our blog today. Today I want to talk about the recent extreme cold weather that we've had, the effects that it can have on the concrete of your home. Uh, right now we're in the middle of January and we've had a pretty good blast of cold weather here. And if you've been out and about, if you've had a 45 or 50 degree day or nicer, you may have seen some different things with your concrete that maybe you don't remember in the fall or in the summertime. So that's what I want to talk about here today. Uh, that point is usually at the area where your driveway meets the garage. And usually in driveways that face south or southwest, which this one is facing west, uh, usually you don't see it a lot because you get more sun exposure to it in the later afternoon. And that frost does not go down as deep. Uh, right now we're hitting around two foot of frost that's frozen ground underneath the concrete. When the ground freezes, anything with moisture in it can expand up to 9%. Uh, so when that happens, if your house faces east or north or northeast, it's not uncommon to see your driveway here be higher than your garage floor. Uh, that's just the driveway raising up because of the frost underneath. Uh, we've put rebar underneath the driveway to allow that expansion to come up. Uh, so in, in the springtime when the frost comes out of the ground, it will go back down. So, if you've been out and about uh, your house, taking a look at things, it's a nice day, you may see that's higher. Uh, don't be alarmed, that should go back down. If you see any cracks through the concrete that's caused by that heaving, if it's a 45 or 50 degree day or warmer, go ahead and seal that up with Vulcan uh, to prevent that water runoff from your vehicles to get into those cracks and accelerate that even more. Uh, just one of the small things that you can do. Uh, now, if you're driveway is higher than the garage floor and it's something where you get a lot of water that's pooled up try to sweep that out the best you can because uh, what can happen is a snowball effect is once it's higher that water comes out and it goes straight down here and it just causes that to, to raise up even further so you can get as much as two or three inches uh, in an extreme case of heaving the second portion I wanted to talk about today was uh, road salts getting on your driveway road salts that are spread on streets before an ice storm, they can get on your driveway here, mainly on these sections right here. If you see that, get that off there as quick as you can. Just broom sweep them off. Uh, that road salt can deteriorate the surface of your concrete and it can actually accelerate that scaling that you can see. The other thing is if you that gets left on there and you get snowpack on top of it, that causes a freeze thaw over and over and over. Uh, that, which can also deteriorate your concrete. So uh, sweep that off the best you can. Also, if you get a really nice day, you know, 45, 50 degrees or even more, if you get a chance, go ahead and wash your driveway off if the uh, temperatures aren't gonna dip below freezing that night. That gets any brine mixture that you would have been brought in by the your vehicles there to get that off your driveway. Once again, thanks for visiting our blog today. If you need any more information, please visit our website or visit one of our model locations. Thanks.